Representative Spencer Baucus uh, is one of the leading Republicans in the House, in fact, head of the Financial Services Committee back uh, when they were doing the bailouts, and that's why he was in the room and found out before anyone else that the markets were going to crash uh, and crash in a huge way on September 18th of that year. Uh, now, we find out that uh, Congressman Baucus has been basically trading on that kind of insider information, and the Office of Congressional Ethics is starting an investigation on him, and he is currently the chairman of the House Financial Services Committee now that the Republicans are in charge of that committee. So that would be the one committee that would have insider information, and it often did. In fact, uh, it has been shown now on 60 Minutes in a book by Peter Schweitzer called Throw Them All Out that, in fact, he did often trade on that information. Uh, for example, uh, when they were about to pass George Bush's stimulus uh, program, uh, that ha came out of the, uh, he was at the time a member of the House Transportation and Infrastructure Committee, knowing that the stimulus was going to pass. He bet on an option uh, on Burlington Northern Railroad, and will you look at that? It went up, and he made $16,588 off of that. Then later, uh, when uh, he was told by Hank Polson uh, that the economy was going to crash, he bet against the entire uh, market. That's called a short option. He made over $5,000 on that. And then at the same time, he sold his options in GE and made over 12000 in that. Now, the GE options he had earlier, it's just based on the insider information that he had that the economy uh, was going to crash. He knew to sell at that point, which he did and got out at a profit, and then GE did collapse. And hence, he would have lost money if he did not have that information. So now, those are some of his winning bets. That's because he had information on that the rest of us didn't have. And by the way, if you don't know, options are actually bigger ways of betting on the stock market. So if you just say that you have GE stock and it goes from 100 to 110, you make 10 percent, obviously. But if you have an option on that and it goes from 100 to 110, it might go up anywhere. Of course, it depends on the option, but it could be up to as much as 50 percent or 100 percent because you're making a larger bet with that option. OK, so you must think, hey, Spencer Backus, then he must be rich by now trading on all this ins inside information. That's actually not true. And here's one of the more interesting and funnier aspects of this story. Uh, in 1995, when he came into the House, his personal uh, net worth was $2.3 million. Since that time, and it's been a long time since then, his net worth has actually gone down. One of the few people in Congress, I, in fact, I've never heard of anyone else's net worth going down while they're in Congress. It's gone down all the way to $1.1 million at the beginning of this year. Now, why? As I read this story and all of his stock option trading, I knew ex exactly why. Inveterate gambler. <laughs> okay, as I'm reading the story, and I know it takes one to know one, okay? I'm a gambler. I know how it is. And I see this guy, he's laying down bets left and right, and his excuse is, no, 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 I often lose on the bets. Yeah, I'm not surprised by that at all. The times you don't lose is when you have insider information. That's, in fact, the only time you seem to ever win. And, and since he's hooked on it, and he's making all of these bets through the, uh, these options on the stock market. As soon as he gets insider information, it's like, oh, yeah, I'm going to make up the losses. This is going to be it. Yeah, man. He can't help himself. That's why he loses the money, because he's a hopeless gambler. And that's why he makes those uh, moves based on insider information. Now, he claims, oh, no, the Hank Polson thing. We had a press conference at some point. Yeah, but you didn't tell us in the press conference what was going to happen in the markets. You didn't tell us the secret information Hank Polson told you. You just said that we had a meeting. So it's a very weak excuse. So this guy's the head of the Financial Services Committee. He should be the most honest. He's the most dishonest. You remember what he said earlier. He has my favorite quote of all time from Congress. He said during one of these hearings that he thought the job of Congress was there to be to, quote, serve the banks. Our job is to serve the banks. Yeah, I bet it is if you're making a profit off of it, personally, while screwing over the American people. So I bet when they turn over that rock, they're going to find a lot of stuff on Spencer Bags. Already what they have is devastating enough, and he should be run out of Congress on this information. But wait till you see what they find out next, because if he's got this kind of gambling problem, oh, it's only going to get worse.